let's move on to main topic number four. And our fourth main topic today gets submitted to us by Sam Johnston, who writes, Hi, John. Over here in the UK, a couple of cinema chains have banned the film Blue Story after a fight broke out at one of the screenings. This reminds me a little of the Joker scenario, where people seem to draw the conclusion that a violent film will incite violence in others. I think banning this film as a shame, um, as it is important to highlight the dangers of gang violence and the lifestyle, particularly here in London. What are your thoughts on this matter? All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in, in Sam. And, you know, yesterday I started getting a lot of messages from people about this movie called Blue Story. The basics of the story was this, that there's this cinema chain called View, V-U-E, in the UK. They're not huge. They're not, they're not massive. But apparently at one of the screenings, a fight broke out that involved multiple, multiple people. Machetes were involved. And in the trailer of Blue Story, I have not seen the trailer myself, but apparently according to the stories, in the trailer, there's violence going on with machetes. So there was a little bit of fear that it might be being emulated. Now, some people concluded, at that point, View decided, you know what? Um, we can't have... We're, we're nervous about what's going to happen to our our customers. We're nervous about what's going to happen to our staff. We're going to pull that movie out of our theaters. By the way, I want to make everybody, remind everybody about something. No movie is owed being in theaters. A theater doesn't owe it to any movie to put their movie in their theaters. A movie theater can put any movie in their theater that they want and not put any movie that they want in their theaters. It's totally up to them. It's not like some movie has a right to be in theaters. No, that is a privilege that a theater chain, if they decide they want to put that movie on their screens, they can put it on the screens. If they don't, they don't for whatever their reasons are. They looked at that. Now, the narrative that started going around online was a narrative of all because some fight broke out one place, one time, they overreacted and pulled the trigger. Well, actually, it was much, much more than that. Now, according to a statement put out by View themselves, they wrote the following. The decision to withdraw Blue's story was not, this is from View, the, the theater chain. The decision to withdraw Blue was not one taken lightly or without careful consideration of our experiences across the country. The film opened in 60 of our sites across the UK and Ireland on Friday, the 22nd of November. But during the first 24 hours of the film, over 25 significant incidents, incidents were reported and escalated to senior management in 16 separate cinemas. This is the biggest number that we have ever seen for any film in such a short time frame. Despite a range of precautionary measures in place, including increased security, removal of late night showings and reduced screenings of the film, the decision to withdraw Blue Story in its entirety was made on Saturday evening on the grounds of safety alone. While we are disappointed that uh, that these are the actions we've had to take, we hope it is understandable that we cannot and will not take any risks with regard to the welfare and safety of our staff and our customers. Unfortunately, the actions of a significant few people have spoiled the opportunity for others, but we stand by, uh, let me get that last time, but we stand by uh, our decision to withdraw the film from our schedule indefinitely. Now, it is also important to point out that 24 hours after this, they decided to put it back in their theaters. Uh, in, a, in an update that came in, uh, the UK chain um, uh, showcase is reinstating, at least, yeah, one of the one of the chains is Blue Story with increased security protocols. So they're going to put it back in. So the, the so there, I believe they're two separate chains, View and Showcase. Showcase is, I put it back in with increased security protocols. Here's the thing. This scenario reminds me a little bit of the situation when what was the james franco seth rogan movie about north korea the interview the interview which by the way wasn't even a good movie um but i remember there was a lot of there were potential threats going around there was a bit of a scare and some theaters decided we're not going to play the movie in our theaters because we're concerned about the safety of our of our staff and we're concerned about the safety of our uh customers to which a lot of keyboard brave warriors 
decided to slam the movie theater chains saying, you're being a coward. You don't capitulate to threats. You go ahead and you do those screenings. Everybody, you know what? My, my buddy, I got two friends of mine, Soul and Mac. And uh, Mac, we often play poker together, and Mac's always yelling at people to go all in. And my buddy Soul so accurately put, ah, Mac, you're always the most aggressive player who's not even in the hand. I find everybody's real brave about what other people should do. Everybody is an expert on what somebody else should do. But I remember I had this argument with somebody. This was around the time of, of the interview. And this person said, you can't, it doesn't matter if there's threats on these places. You can't capitulate. You got to keep the doors open. You got to have people come and see blah, blah, blah. And I put this to them and I've never had one good response to this. I said, okay, let me ask you something, tough guy. Let's say a bomb threat is sent into your kid's school tomorrow. You sending your kid to school? Come on, tough guy. Come on, brave internet keyboard warrior. You sending your kid to school tomorrow? I'll bet you a million bucks you're not. Oh, that's different because it's your kid. It's different because it's, that's right, everybody else. Everybody is a brave, tough guy when it comes to what other people should do. If, if and look, everybody forgets about this, Rob. Remember the tragedy at that Cinemark Theater when The Dark Knight Rises opened? Right? The shooting at the theater with the dark, right? Yeah. That wasn't the movie theater's fault. That wasn't the movie theater's fault. But they got the pantsuit off them anyway. They were held responsible, even though it was not their fault. Can you imagine what would happen? And I know this is the unpopular opinion. Fuck the popular opinion. I'm going to say what's true. All right? Can you imagine what would happen to view cinemas if a couple of people bought a movie ticket to go see this movie that looks really good, Blue Story, and they go and some kind of fight breaks out at it that was prearranged and like a, a woman gets injured who'd, who'd planned to go to see this movie, she gets injured and her lawyer finds out you had 25 other incidents of violence in the previous 48 hours and you still did this screening and didn't notify everybody who was coming and you didn't put up any warnings. They're done. They're going to get sued out of existence. Now, I'm not saying that if I'm the GM of a theater or a theater chain, I'm not saying that I pull the movie myself. I'm not saying that's what they should do, but I'm saying anybody who says you shouldn't pull pull it out is being a brave, tough guy, keyboard warrior, and you're not thinking about the overall situation. Now, I think it's kind of a nice move that there's theater said, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to cough out the extra money, and this is going to make them lose money. By the way, this movie theater chain is going to lose money on this movie playing in their theaters because now they got to put out extra money. They're probably going to have to put in metal detectors. They're probably going to have to do all this stuff for all this increased security just to cover them from a sense of liability from a legal point of view. And I applaud them for that, actually. I do. I, th I think that's great. I think it's great when a movie gets to play. So again, I'm not saying they should have pulled it. I'm not saying they shouldn't have. All I'm saying is... It never ceases to, to amaze me how brave and how tough guy people become about how other people should act in the face of a very difficult situation. And by the way, how we as movie fans, and I do this myself too, I'm as guilty as this as anybody, that we oversimplify very, very complex situations like this one. Because there's a lot of dimensions to keep in mind here. Now, I celebrate that it looks like this film is going to get its day and they're going to be played. And I agree with the statement that View put out saying, it's unfortunate that these bunch of jackholes have to ruin the experience for everybody. And they're right in saying so. Now, again, I'm not saying I would have pulled it, but I completely understand and agree while so with why somebody like a View Cinema with their necks on the line, it ain't your neck on the line, it ain't my neck on the line, it's their necks on the line. I understand whether I would have done the same thing or not. Why a view cinema would go, hey, we've had 25 incidents in 24 hours. We are concerned about the safety of our customers and we're concerned about the safety of our staff and we're concerned about our liability. 
that we could get sued out of existence if something else happens. It is the safer thing for us at this point right now to say, we're just not going to play the movie in our theaters. Regardless of what the internet tough guys, keyboard warriors, think about it. So I celebrate that it is going to play. I think that's great. But I also would totally understand any move on their part if they didn't because they are worried about the safety of their staff and their customers. So anyway, Rob, you see this. I, and look, I think it's even far more complicated than even I'm considering it to be. But you see this. What, what's your first reactions? What are your first thoughts? What do you do in a situation like this? Well, first of all, I think it's important to say that this movie has not been banned no one has said this movie is, is going to be banned Excellent because of point. subject matter. We're going to take this away so nobody can see it. What has happened is a movie theater, which is not in the business of protecting its customers against machete-wielding hooligans, is now, to me, if there's any violence of any kind at a movie theater, you're done. You pull the movie, you get rid of it. It's not a movie theater's job to provide extra security. I mean, if, if you've got a bunch of douchebags that are part of gangs in Birmingham that are going to go to a movie theater and bring machetes to next to a, 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 an auditorium where Frozen 2 is playing, which is, I, I read about this story. I'm like, there is no question. You pull the film. It's done. It, it's not the film's fault. The film isn't being banned. Uh, the, these gang members, rather than buy a ticket, they came to a movie theater to start some shit. And they did in multiple theaters. You blame those people. You go after those people. Movie theaters are not in the business of providing personal security to, to pre prevent violence at, at movie screenings. And remember, the movie theaters should not be the ones that are pilloried in this. Who should be The people you should go after are the gang members that show up with machetes to movie theaters. I mean, you know, if they can't see the movie... Who's, who, who, what, what problem, whose problem is it? It's the gang members that did this. Don't make the movie theaters the villains. The movie theaters are there to provide entertainment. They're there to provide fun. They're there to provide a great environment and great projection. That's their job. Their job is not to provide armed guards in case machete-wielding hooligans show up at a movie theater. I mean, I don't want to live in that world. Uh, we already we already live in America in a world where somebody tried to set their shoe on fire and now we have TCA... Uh, 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 TSA lines for the last 20 years. I mean, it's, it's, it's these kinds of things. It's zero tolerance. Somebody shows up, you're done. The movie gets pulled. It's unfortunate for the filmmakers. But I mean, like you said, everybody's like, oh, the movie's banned. It's not banned. It'll show up on a streaming service. Go get it on physical media. Or, other, but, or another theater chain. Or Yeah, but another theater chain, they capitalized on this. That theater chain is capitalizing on the fact, I think that theater chain is incredibly irresponsible, and they're using this publicity to think that they can get some extra money. I think, you know, I don't think the government should step in and do anything about it, but I think this theater chain is playing with fire, and I don't think what they're doing is good. I think they've got multiple acts of violence. I think they want to say, look at how cool we are. They're a theater chain. They're, at, they're bringing in more security. What's that even about? I mean, your, your job is not to provide security for your customers. Your, your, your job is to show movies to everybody. And I think it's ridiculous. You want to tempt fate? I mean, you've, you've got multiple incidents of violence across the country, and you are going to – I think it's a big mistake. I wouldn't have done it. And if something happens, if one person gets hurt at that theater, like you were just saying earlier, John, they knew the risks, and they took them on, and they're publicizing the fact that – we're going to show the movie anyway. We're the cool, tough guys because, hey, we're a movie theater, so we know how to protect our customers against machete-wielding punks. I, I it, it also reminds, again, if somebody came back, I was having this discussion with somebody on Twitter this morning and said, well, you know, if somebody else gets hurt in a theater, it, this is now very public. You knew the risks going to see that movie. Since when is going to a movie something you need to assess your risk? Uh, yeah. And on top of that, what I said back to them is, okay, okay, so maybe a couple A doesn't want to go see Blue Story. What if they wanted to go see Joker tonight? What if they wanted to go see Frozen 2 with their kids? Can you imagine what will happen to them in court if some family goes to a movie theater that is also playing Blue Story on their screens and some type of violence erupts and a, their kid, heaven forbid, their kid that they brought to Frozen 2 gets hurt? You know what's going to happen to them in court? They're going to get sued out of existence, and rightfully so. But again, I think I, 
I want, I, I'm getting dangerously close to oversimplifying it as well. We are, a lot of us, I think, are are outrageously guilty of oversimplifying this whole thing and under, not, fan, failing to understand there are many, many layers to this that I think need to be taken into consideration. Again, uh, it, it's a it's a dicey situation. I feel bad for the filmmakers because this is not the filmmaker's fault. Plus, and it really sucks that they're going to get punished for this because of the actions of a bunch of jackholes. That's, that's really unfortunate. Um, so I don't know. I, I mean, I would like to know where the filmmakers are in terms of this situation. Well, they I put mean, out a comment. Oh, they did. They put out a comment and said, look, they said, ultimately, this blue story is a movie about the redemptive power of love and about the you know, th this movie is not about violence, but violence is a part of the story, much like violence is a part of the story of Avengers. Violence is a part of the story of Spider-Man. Violence is the part of the story. This is ultimately our film is about love. And if a bunch of jackholes want to take that and twist it and use it as a pretext to give themselves an excuse to go and carry on like a bunch of jackholes and ruin evenings and experiences for anyway, I, I, it, it's tough talk. Anyway, guys, you guys have seen this whole situation. What do you guys think about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.